<laughs> so 2,700 cherries to get a modest physiologic dose of melatonin. So what about tart cherry? A lot of people are touting tart cherry at bedtime. Does that have any mechanism of action for melatonin production? Now most fruits, seeds, nuts, especially the reproductive portion of plants contain some level of melatonin. So some people say, oh, you know, I, I'm sleeping better because I'm taking tart cherries and that helps me with melatonin and because it's supplying melatonin. But actually, if you look and calculate how much you would need in the way of tart cherries, I mean, it's not a standardized amount, right? You don't know how much you're getting in tart cherry juice. It's not on the label. And we know that plants are very unpredictable based on their growing. I did a calculation in the paper that we published in the Nutrients Journal. And I just took a paper, identified a general range of plant melatonin and tart cherries. And of course there are different varieties. So even you have that. But what I calculated was in order to get 0.3 milligrams of melatonin, you needed 2,718 cherries. Wow. And I remember that number just because I get the question all the time. So 2,700 cherries to get a modest physiologic dose of melatonin. Yeah. And I think cherries as a food uh, is, is incredible because of the polyphenols.